Ben Baker, congratulations. I can't begin to imagine the elation you're feeling right now, but if you can begin to put it in, into words, just tell us how you're feeling. Ah, uh, it's... There the, would be a lot of swearing and probably if I put it into words, but it's just amazing, absolutely. And I can't... I'm floating, to be honest. Absolutely floating. It's just amazing. It's the, everything that... Because I've been here a few times, everything I haven't got out of it, I got out of it tonight. Uh, that that win, winning feeling somewhere else. 59-56 on the referee scorecard. When they were being read out, I'm sure there was a lot of thoughts going through your head, but did you feel that you'd done enough to get the win tonight? Wow, it's, it was f funny because when I fought, fought for Yaz two weeks ago, my corner was quite confident in that I was doing, you won that, you're doing that. Every round that was telling me I lost, and I thought, oh, bloody hell, and then I said, uh, the ref said that, that, and I thought, oh, no. But I, there's a part of me, I thought, I, I did think I'd won, but I just, you just don't know sometimes, and then... When I, when I heard Birmingham, I think that's what I heard first. I knew then, and it was amazing, yeah. Meshach was a big puncher. He hit you with everything he had in there, but he was come forward, and as you said to me in the build-up, that style was always going to suit you tonight. Definitely. Uh, he, caught, he caught me, I think twice, to be fair. Caught me with two good shots. Um, and it, it'll be back again. He was, a strong, he was a strong kid, but, yeah, that was the style I, would, I liked. Um, and, it, yeah, it was, I think it was, it was a good I'd have to see it back, but I hope it was a good fight for the fans, mainly. You showed amazing heart and grit in there, and given the short notice, maintained a phenomenal pace over the six rounds as well. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot tougher this time than it was two weeks ago. Um, the two weeks off didn't recharge me as much as I liked. It was, it was tough, but I was never going to say no to being here. So, uh, and I just I, I grueled it out, bit down on the gum shield and grueled it out. Massive ups and downs for you over the last couple of months. If you can, again, put that into words to us, it's been a massive whirlwind for you, hasn't it? Yeah, definitely. I don't think the win would be a sweet tonight without the loss and the ups and downs, like you said. There's none of it would be as sweet as it is now. So it's just been an amazing journey. All of you guys have been a part of it, and I've become friends with a lot of you, and uh, it's just amazing. I've been gutted, though. I've been 28 days, so I won't be in the bubble anytime soon. <laughs> but no, it's just been amazing. I thank everyone, Eddie Hearn, Matchroom, Sky, uh, yeah. Can't put into words how amazing it's been. Uncle Eddie, as you refer Uncle to him Eddie, as. Yeah. Uh, he had you up on the cards as well, sharing that on social media, and he said your reaction is what boxing is all about. Have you got a message for him watching on as well? Just thank you, Uncle Eddie. Um, get, get little old Kane out again whenever you can. He did say something about the winner stays on, and I won, so hopefully that means I stay on and uh, I can come back to the bubble again. Andy Scott touched on it in your post-fight interview with Sky there that when Errol was ringing you, you had a few missed calls and you actually nearly missed the news that you were going to be told that you were fighting this yeah. weekend. Yeah, I did. Um, my phone was playing off. I've had headphones with my speak, so I couldn't answer it. Uh, and then I missed it. My, I think my missus phoned him back first and knew, knew about the, there was a fight and then she was like, you've got a phone, Errol. And then I got in touch and obviously I, I said yes straight away. I think he probably already said yeah anyway. He knows the, the kind of guy I am, so I was going to fight whatever. We caught up last night and you said that since the Akib loss, she'd been almost a little bit of a lost soul scratching around the house. If you'd have been told at the start of this week that you'd be standing here in front of me today having one live on Sky Sports, I bet you never could have believed that. Never, never. Especially, I thought, because I had my chance, I, I did have my chance and um, I blew it really. But it, it shows to any, any boxer out there, just, just stay ready and active. I know it's hard times, but you know, the, a call can come. And me being known to, to say yes to take thoughts has got me. Has got me this. Eddie said, "Look, who else would have took it?" But Kane Baker. So that was just amazing. Yeah. You said this was last chance saloon. You told me after the keep fight that that, that was it. You weren't going to be fighting anymore. But you'd also said if you'd beat him, you would be looking to turn pro full time. Now you have a win under your belt. What is the next step for Kane Baker? Um, I'm. I'm not sure. I'm not really not sure. Um, obviously, the lock, the lockdown, come, all this coming again is will play thing with my normal work and stuff like that. Um, but I will definitely be back in the gym on Monday, Tuesday. I'm not gonna have the week off that I had off, and I'm gonna stay fit and ready. And just finally, do you have any closing thoughts or message for your supporters, for your sponsors, and for those who've stuck by you? Um, yeah, all my sponsors: County Clean, Wild Boar, CA Roofing. Well, there's too many to name, but all of them have stuck, stuck by me, and I just, I just can't thank them enough. Uh, and I'm just a boxing fan with a license uh, who's won on Scott tonight. And uh, yeah, any, any boxers, just, just stay ready because the chances will come. Brilliant, Kane. Massive congratulations to you, mate. We look forward to seeing you back, hopefully, very soon. Very soon. Well thank done. Thank you, mate.